Hi guys, I'm Rahul and welcome back to Aquaqua. <laughs> so, like the title says, this video is about TDS. Uh, I'm sure you guys, if you've watched my channel before, I'm, I've mentioned this a lot of times in the uh, discus keeping video that the ideal TDS is so much and it should be between 150 to 200 and it shouldn't be more than that. And uh, so this video basically I wanted to uh, give a basic understanding of what is TDS and uh, what is the importance of TDS in the hobby, in the aquarium hobby. So TDS basically, the full form of TDS is basically called Total Dissolved Solids. So basically it's the uh, minerals and salts and uh, other factors uh, which are available in the water. So that is what is TDS, so Total Dissolved Solids. So water, when you see ground water, like boreal water, what you get in the, uh, you know, under the ground. So that goes through a lot, passes through a lot of stones, a lot of soil and all of that. So it has high levels of minerals and salts. So that is why if you see the borewell water in some areas, like in Bangalore and all some places, it is about 1400 ppm, which is very, very high. It is not even good for humans, definitely not uh, safe for uh, fishes. So then if you look at the river water, river water basically again is a flowing water so it actually passes through a lot of stones and this thing so but the hardness will not be that much as it is in the, you know, the entire ground water. And next level of water if you see the, in different regions again you know the uh, river water the hardness is different depending on the terrains and the you know way the path where the water is passing through and you know water has got a capacity to absorb things. So those are all the factors. So some areas the uh, salts will be higher, some areas the uh, minerals will be higher. So it's a you know different uh, kind of areas you get different kind of TDS. So uh, why are we talking about this and why is this in this topic? Basically uh, there is a lot of importance of water in the hobby when uh, we talk about fishes. So we need to be give the right and ideal uh, you know situation or the right condition for the fish to survive. So different fishes have different parameters like I specialize in discus you have seen my channel so uh, discus ideally should be kept you know in a TDS between 150 or inside 200 in a normal scenario and when you are doing breeding you need to look at uh, TDS which is completely maybe uh, below 100. So these are certain factors and some fishes you can actually go up to 300 to 350 TDS but ideally if you see uh, a, T a TDS between you know 100 to 300 should be kept for any fish I think hardness more going more than 300 350 is not safe for them because excess of minerals or excess of salts are, are not good for fishes and because it will affect their uh, you know immune system and their skin and stuff like that so a t understanding what is tedious and uh, the ideal tedious for the kind of fish you want to keep is very very important so that's why I thought I should make a video about it and um, yeah, the, then yeah, to find out TDS you get this uh, meter which is called uh, a TDS meter, I don't know if you guys can see it, I will also leave a link of it in the video's description where you guys can actually purchase. So this basically gives you the reading uh, of uh, the total dissolved solids in your water. So uh, and it gives in ppm, ppm is parts per million. So that is the reading this uh, TDS meter will give you. It's not very expensive, it's very very uh, affordable and uh, it's hardly cost inside 500 rupees. And if you are serious about the hobby and if you are serious about your fish that you keep, I feel this is a must buy and you guys have to have it because this is very easy for you guys to find out uh, the condition of your water. So uh, there are a lot of people who use RO systems. So what happens in an uh, RO system is that uh, the RO system actually reduces the entire uh, uh, hardness and stuff like that. So sometimes in the RO units you will find uh, TDS which is about hardly about 20 to 30 TDS which is t uh, 20 to 30 ppm sorry. So that is something where all the things is removed out and the water is completely pure and the mineral levels are literally nothing. So here in Bangalore uh, we get Kaveri water so that the TDS is about uh, between 170 to 200 which is again pretty decent for any kind of fish but they add chlorine so that you need to dechlorinate your uh, water before it goes into a fish tank and then comes the next part which is the boreal water which is again uh, very high TDS some areas you get some very good uh, boreal water and some areas you get 
very very uh, hard uh, the hardness in the water is too much that is why i don't know if you guys have observed uh, if you use uh, very high tedious water your taps and all kind of gets kind of scaling so even if you use that in your aquarium all your aquarium uh, glass and all your equipment will start getting this white uh, you know kind of calcium deposits on top of it which is not good even for your equipment and of course not at all good for your fishes so that is why i said this this thing is very very important so we have this it's very easy to find out what is your water tedious so what i'll do next is i'm going to be showing you the kind of reading uh, how to use this and uh, that's about it so i just thought i should make a small video about what is the importance of tedious hope you guys understood what it is so i'll show you how this is used and the difference of uh, the kind of readings what you guys get yeah so this is your typical tedious meter what you get uh, from amazon uh, this is about i think 300 rupees uh, per piece so in this tedious meter what now you get is one is your uh, tedious uh, you know on off when you power on off and then you have a temperature tab and then you have the hold tab where you can hold and check the reading so this is where the sensor is the three buttons which come in yeah so here i have two uh, this is an ro water and this is a kaveri water so basically to make you understand uh, what it is so i'm going to use the tds meter to get the reading of the kaveri water. you just need to dip only the tip and uh, press the hold button so you can see the reading is currently at 124 ppm this is for the kaveri water yeah so we'll switch it on off and then we'll check the r water see r water is at 27 so that's the difference so with an ro unit the entire minerals and everything is removed and this is come from a natural this one so this is about 124 and this is at about 27 so if you have this tds meter it makes it that much more easier for us to find out uh, the different types of water so that is why this thing is very very important in the hobby and uh, also yeah one more thing is it's also got a place where you can check the temperature of your uh, water also so that's why i said it's not very expensive and uh, you can just pick it up and uh, keep it in handy so you can get the readings and all that at the at your place and so you don't need to you know wait for finding out what is the reason and stuff like that yep so this is an important thing to have in the hobby yep so now you guys saw how uh, the uh, tds meter has to be used and the kind of different readings between an ro unit and also a kaveri water kind of thing so there are a lot of people who use complete ro systems where the tds is completely really low so there are products like this this is a uh, ccam replenish Yeah, you guys can see C camera plenish. <laughs> so this basically uh, has got, you know, uh, all minerals which are removed, which can be added into the tank. So it's not like a. So some uh, sometimes the entire TDS is removed, right? So you need to fishes also need some amount of minerals. So these kind of products not only C cam, there are other brands also which we get, which you can actually use and uh, bring the TDS back. to a certain level so you can use stuff like that if you using complete ro systems and uh, if you using normal like i said before also dechlorinate and use the water never add direct water into your tank so i made a couple of videos on water conditioning and stuff like that i leave the links in the cards you guys can uh, have a look so hope you guys like this video if you did give us a big thumbs up like and share our videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so until next time
Bye-bye.